over a thousand calls a year easily. Got a shoulder on the face. Taking a toboggan, standard pack, and a backrest. And they range from everything from quite simple, ordinary stuff, which we must remember is still someone's leg, arm, whatever it might be, to really quite technical rescues involving lots of medical expertise. So we have a machine set to 30 and two, so 30 compressions to two breaths. We've got everything here from rope rescue to helicopter rescue to advanced medical care. The calls that we do up here are 90% trauma. 62 year old male, query humerus fracture. It's life and death. There are people that have died on this hill. My leg's in two right now, dude. What's that? My leg is in two. I've reported a code three. He has skied into a tree, possible femur, pelvic fracture. Copy that. Jason is 10 8, bottom of the summer chair. Our job has an element of danger to it. We're responding to people that got hurt. They've got hurt because they're generally in a difficult access terrain. You often have to go to people that are on double black runs, so working on a 40 degree slope to get a patient out of is definitely challenging. There's times when we get to people and they're they're at their worst. And we have to be at our best. There are sometimes things that we deal with that aren't quite the nicest. Well, let me tell you, you're not riding, you're drunk. It's definitely a job where the decisions you make can be quite important to someone else. Having to make a decision that matters where the wrong decision has consequences. Dispatch, can you get RCMP to scene as well, please? No, 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 no. Right, we'll pack it in then. Okay, I'll shut it up. All right. Being a ski patroller isn't about getting rich. It's, it's a lifestyle. I think it attracts people that like the outdoors, like the adventure, and like helping people. It can be a tough job if you are weak. The work that we do up here is a lot more like what I thought being a paramedic is like. The patrol department's about 40 people here now. We have full age range here, everything from our 60 odd year old patroller down to our 20 year old patroller and everything in between. At the beginning of the season, we have a lot of people apply to work here because they know of the equipment that we've got, they know of the education levels they get, and they know of the clinical development they'll receive during that season. Definitely do like the kind of more gruesome calls, just because those are the ones that you can make a bigger difference on. Hey boys, you help someone off the hill? Job it's fun. All the injuries. I get paid to drive a snowmobile. Saving people. Saving people. people uh, it's. I guess that's pretty rewarding too. Skate every fucking day. <laughs> There's someone in one of the bars having a central cardiac chest pain, or believed to be cardiac chest pain. I kind of just fell into this. I ended up here one day when there was a, a fatality on the mountain, got involved and uh, resuscitated this uh, young fella. And uh, the young fella's now thankfully up and walking around and fine. And as a result of that, the mountain asked me if I'd mind staying and getting involved. When I'm selecting my patrollers, I, I look for personality. Dispatch, uh, if you can make a 911 call for a code 3 SVT. Jeremy Griffiths demands perfection. Griff, this was, a, this was a tough one. Griff can be an incredibly challenging guy to work for, but when it comes into an actual call situation, he treats you like an equal. With adenosine, the drug that we give you, we need to try and give it in a nice big vein. When he's in the patrol department in that role, he's very focused. He's now going to be onto our stretcher, into our clinic, and then we're going to give him some adenosine to see if we can sort it out for him. Bill, I'm Dr. Dollywell. So I understand you've been through this before a couple yes, of times. Yes, yes. Okay. His expectations are very high, and if you don't achieve those expectations, he can come down very hard on you. I'm quite a straight character. Uh, I'll, I'll say what I think and that doesn't always go down well. It's not for those that have a thin skin. I was definitely a little intimidated when I first started here. So you're all back to normal? Yeah. All back to normal. But he's probably the best person for the job you could imagine. Hey dispatch, we've got uh, one person stuck on a chair. It can go faster, it can go higher, everyone's pushing the boundaries, which obviously makes it more fun, also increases that danger. It's a much different sport than when our grandfather skied. You're gonna get hurt. 
We want to have people there that can respond to those types of injuries. It's a great place to be and a great place to work. Every day is different. I get to ski for a job, which is a pretty sweet gig. It can be hard work. It can be stressful on the mind. It can be gruesome, some sad days. But there's nothing else I'd rather be doing.